Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to show you a quick overview of Article Hub. This project is developed using Angular for front end and for the back end we have used Node.js and for the database we have used MySQL. So I have already started my back end and as well as front end. So here you can see that we are already on the local host 4200 and this is my landing page. Whenever we open this, this will be our landing page. Let me reload this and okay, just let me do like this one. And here you can see this. This is the first page where we land. So first thing you can observe that for now we haven't logged in. This is the this is open for every user. So every user comes to our website that is Article Hub, and there all the published articles can be seen. So if I click on this, here you can see this. What is the article contains? And you can observe that we have different fonts. Even we have different colors as well. We can do like that too. Let me show that if uh, it's somewhere. Yeah, here you can see this in this one, we have different colors. We can highlight, we can mark, uh, we can do these all stuff. We can do everything, okay. Other feature is that you can see when this one is published. That is 13, 8, 2023. And we have different categories like Java, C, Angular. And here we have only these three for now, you can add category as well. Here we have one option to filter. You can filter by the category. If I type Java, then all this category, all the articles fall under the category Java is visible over here. If I type C, here you can see this. For the C, actually this one, everything on Java is also visible because we are filtering on the basis of the name also. If I try to copy this and if I paste it over here, here you can see this all only this one is being visible. Okay, so when I type C, it means that category and Every name, article name contains C will be visible over there. So if I remove it, if I type C here, you can see this one is removed because in that one, C is not there in the header as well as in the category. Next thing, what we have over here is if I click on this, we have three different colors we can switch. So if I click on this here, you can see this now the headers and the internal application, the complete application is changed into this, this theme. This is basically theme, which we can say. So if I click on this, you can read it. Here you can see this published and the what, whenever this one is published is visible over here so that you can uniquely identify which one is published when, and it's easy to read. At the same place, you can have multiples, right? So let's quickly log in. So if I log in over here, if I click on that login, here you can see this, this will show something like this article hub. This is email and this is for password. Okay, so my email is foo at the rate email.com and uh, we can type password foo. If I click on back, it will move back to this one. And if I again move back over here and if I click on login, it will move back over here to the admin page. Here you can see this, we have different categories over here. First, we have dashboard there we will fall into this welcome admin. So if I click on this, if I change the color theme, then everything over here, the colors is also changed. After this, what we have, we have users. If I click on this, here you can see this foo2 is visible, right? But as we can see right now, we have logged this foo, right? So that foo is not visible over here. That's why, because the here we have option to edit as well. We have option to activate and deactivate as well. So one user cannot deactivate itself. That's the reason with the user which you logged in, that user is not visible over here. And one more thing, if I go to the database, let me show you. Uh, I'm, I have already logged in and I have created the database with the name article hub node.js, node.js. And if I show the tables and here we have app user table, in the app user table, we have all the user details. Okay, so if I show that here we have three users, one is admin, another is foo and this one is foo2. As we have logged in with foo, then we can only see this user, not this one. Why? Because it is deletable is false. It means that this user cannot be deleted. There will be one, uh, one user in such a way that which cannot be deleted by any user. The thing is, if every user is deleted, then we have to manually insert the data into the database. In that case, to prevent that, what we did is we have designed the application in such a way that one user will always be in that situation. Okay. 
as you can see this one is is deletable is false let me do one thing let me just make that one deletable is equal to true okay so that we can see if that user is visible over there or not where id is equal to one so if i do like this and if i move back over here and if i reload it just Readable is equal to true and true. Okay, now we have true over here. Let me reload it. And here you can see this now admin is also visible over here. So what happened is if that is deletable is true in that case, uh, if is deletable is true in that case only those user will be visible over here. Let me just move back to the false. Okay, and let me reload it quickly. Okay, that one is gone. Next thing we also have over here to filter the user. So we have only one. So if I try to do something wrong, then basically this one will be left. Before we go into the edit part, we have one option over here to add the user. So if I click on this and here we can type the name. So I'm going to type ABC and ABC at rate email.com and password is simply ABC. So this is basically a dummy data. Okay. So if I click on add, here you can see this successfully registered, but this user is in inactive state. This one is not activated. So if I go over here, select start from the user, here you can see this ABC, ABC at the email.com and the pass is ABC. And this is by default, whenever you add a user, that will be deletable is equal to true. Okay. So now we move back over here and let's try logging with ABC. This is logout. Yes. And now try logging with ABC at the rate email.com and abc login and here you can see this it gives us a message bait for admin approval okay so it means that this one is not active it means you cannot log in with this one let me log in with foo login if i move back over here to the users let me activate it and let me log out now try logging again with abc at rate email.com abc click on login and here you can see this now we are going to log in. now i am here with the user abc now we can see foo and foo2 is visible but abc is not visible okay next thing what we have is we have one option to search as i have shown you that uh, if i try to search like this foo2 then we can search okay next thing let me date this one so here we can update the name as well so do something like this or free update it here you see this name is also updated and the email you can also update and you can also enable and disable from okay next thing what we have is we have category so if i click on this here we move into the category as you can see that in the previous one uh, we have different categories over here. So here we can also search like if I type C, C is visible. If I type Java, Java is visible. Okay, we can also have option to update. So what happens is if I suppose here we have C, so I'm going to update it with C++. If I update it and if I log out, then here you can see this, every C is now updated to C++. It means that existing article is also being updated. Okay, in a, suppose uh, corresponding to that article, uh, that category, some articles is already published. In that case, that changes, the cat category name changes will be reflected to those article also. Okay. Next thing, let me just log in again. Now we move back over here. Let me just move back this one to C. Next thing, let's open over here and just open HTML. Add it. And here we have new HTML category. We can also search, right? Okay. 
Now we move to the article part. If I click on this, here we can see this every article over here is visible. You can also have view option over here. You can also view the articles from here also. Next thing we have edit button as well as delete one. If I edit it, I can edit the articles. Let's try adding some first. We can also search with Java and we can search questions like this one. We have the filter option. Next thing, let's quickly add one new article. So if I click on this one, here we get the option like this. We have to put the name. So HTML art, something like this. And this is my first article in HTML, something like this. This is the header. So what I'm going to do is we have the option to make it bold as well as italic and as well as underline. Okay, this one is done. Next thing we have the option to color red, change the color of this one. So we can change it to red. You can see this now the color is changed. Next thing we can put the cross mark over here. We don't need it. Let me just remove it. We can put something like this marker over here. Let me just increase the font for this one. Heading one, heading two, something like this. We have the option over here to select the heading, whichever you want, whatever you want. So I'm going to select the header, heading two. Okay. Okay. Before we go further, what we have to do is we have to select one category that is HTML, which we have added right now. So whatever the category you have added, all the categories will be visible over here. So I'm selecting HTML over here and the status right now, my article is not complete. It means that all the data is not being have been written over here. It's the incomplete data for me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put into the draft status and just add it. So here you can see this HTML art and the category is HTML and it's in the draft state. So what is the meaning of draft state? If I log out and if I move back over here, here you cannot find that HTML art category. If I log in and go to this one, And if I go to article and click on this one, and if I change the status to publish and update it, in that case, here you can see this, this is published. Um, published date is also updated. That is 17.9.23. So let me just log out, move back over here. You can see this, we have HTML art. So if I click on this, I have written only this much. So that way this much data is only visible over here. Let's just update that quickly. And we need to check other elements of that one also. To move back over here, let me just edit it and change this one to draft status and update it. Here because this data is gone and this will not be visible to the users. Okay. Okay, so what I did is I have copied some of the content and just pasted it over here. Okay, so here we can now play these stuff. Okay, so let me just remove this. And this is the perfect article. So here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just select this one and make this one bold. After this, what we have to do is we can also change the color of this one as per our priority. So now, now I'm going to change the highlight this one, what is STM. And also I'm going to make this one darker and bold as well. So here you can see this. Now this one is looking better. After this, in the answer, we are going to underline it. And we have this bunch of stuff. So I'm going to put like this. The question is over here. And for the answer, we have to put like this. Next thing, let's experiment the remaining stuff. The second question. So I'm going to select this one and select this. Here you can see this. This is uh, visible quite nicely as a question. The background, uh, the color is set. Next thing, we have the answer. Select this one. And we can increase the headings as well. But we are not going to do this for that one. We have bullet points. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to scroll all the way to town. I'm going to add few bullet points over here. So A, like uh, first, second, third, fourth, something like this. And if I select all of these, we have this option, like one, two, three, four, three, four, right? If you don't want this numbering, you can also use this bullet point. So if I click on this here, this is that one to be required is removed with this one. If I move back over here, just select this, we have option this one. Here you can see this, the uh, upside is moving the 
it has different functionality for sure. Okay. Next thing we have this option to move left and right the strings. So if I want to move right on the right, right most, we can do this. We have these options, select this one and select this. It's already on the right side. We can increase the font, like uh, let me select these lines, the question three, and change this one to larger. Here you can see this, now this question is larger. After that, uh, what we can do is, as you have already seen that, the color for this one we can change. The text color we can change, right? So we can change the color over here. Let me just do this one, sky blue. Okay. Next thing what we have is, uh, we have the option to change the background color. So let me change this one to purple. Okay. We have another option. We can also change the font of these strings. We click on this one and we can change the font. Here you can see this. Now the font is changed so that you can highlight all of the stuff. If we can select like this, we have the option to align it like center alignment. We have right alignment. We have um, like all the way line alignment. This is a text contraction. Okay. And this one is like to align this. Okay. So next thing, the all stuff is done. With these changes, I want to publish my article. So now what I do is I want to publish, then select publish. And as well as you, if you want to change the category, you can change the category in the runtime. So if I click on this update, here you can see this article update is successfully as well as published. So if I log out and here you can see this, now we have HTML art and this HTML category and it is published on 17. So if I click on this, here you can see this, we have what is HTML and this one is a the background color changed and this question is bold. We have moved this one to little right. The font for this one is changed. And we have changed the background color for, sorry, the font color for this one, the background color for this one changed. And even we have added the bullet points. So this is how you can the articles and this is how it will, it will be shown into this list. So let me just quickly log in and we have different themes as well. So let me just change the theme so that it will be look nicer. Okay, so let me log in and if I move back over here into the article section or into the dashboard, we have, I'm just copying this URL and we also have one help section. If I click on this, here you can see this for any query you can call or email this one because this is an admin and this is not deletable. Okay, so we can use this. So one more thing which we, which we have added that we have added the guard into this one. So if I log out, and now again, what I want is I have copied the URL, right? So if I directly want to go to this one, if I click on this, it will not allow me to directly open that page. You have to go through the login page only else you will be rerouted to this home page that is localhost 4200. It will be accessible for every users. So that's all for the demo guys from the next video onwards. I'm going to show you how to develop the backend. And after that, we are going to see how to develop the front end. So stay tuned, like, subscribe, share and follow us on Instagram. Thanks for watching.